Hey guys, it's another one of those This Is What Happened But You Weren't Here So You Missed It vlogs. We're in Janet's kitchen today, <laughs> although Kristen is in the kitchen as well. I'm going to be making a fake fried chicken today because um, I get a lot of inspiration from my vegetarian dishes from restaurants. I know Flash. And I just happened to be up late the other night and they had a really nice vegan restaurant on and they had um, fake fried chicken so I got inspired this week so I've been looking around the internet for recipes and I came across one that's really simple you don't have to be vegan or vegetarian it is Lent if you don't want to eat meat on Friday you might want to try this so it's pretty simple the main ingredient is uh, TVP which is textured vegetable protein and basically what it is is it looks like gravel <laughs> really tiny gravel so we're going to put a cup of that in the bowl, and I'm going to um, put the link to the uh, actual recipe in the bottom bar. I changed it a little bit. Uh, I doubled it, you know, first of all, and then I, um, you could substitute some of the ingredients, which I did. I have a cup of uh, hot, boiling hot water here with vegetable bouillon in it, and I'm going to pour that into the textured vegetable protein and let that sit for 10 minutes. All right, so that's sat for about 10 minutes now, and it's absorbed all the liquid, and I put some pepper in there, because I like pepper. You don't really need salt, because the bouillon is salty. I'm going to add to that a cup of the garbanzo bean flour, which is also Bob's Red Mill. Uh, you can add, I've seen on the recipe, and you'll see in the comments below if you look at the recipe, that you can use mashed potatoes, you can use gluten, you can use uh, chickpea fl uh, flour, which is what garbanzo bean flour is. Uh, there's a bunch of different things you can try. I agree with the garbanzo bean flour. I'm going to give that a try tonight. I might switch in the future depending on how it tastes, but I'm going to mix about a cup of that in with that so that it forms a um, patty. And then, I'm, then we'll check back after I get to that stage. All right, so I have it all mixed up, and it's quite firm. And I'm using my one, I'm thinking, tablespoon scoop because I just, I don't like to have to wash my hands every five minutes when I'm cooking. <laughs> so I scooped out some here, and they say that you can use uh, crushed up corn flakes or um, nutrition, well I'm using nutritional yeast, you could use breadcrumbs. So um, you're going to make your chicken sized nuggets, or you can make them the size of um, chicken cutlets. And then you're going to put them in your fry pan, and I've got a little um, olive oil in there. So I'm going to brown them off on both sides. And uh, then we'll see if we can find some people who would like to taste these. And yeah, let's hope it's a winner because I don't want to cook anything else for dinner. Alright, so here's the finished product. Sean, that's far too loud. Be careful, they may be hot. And I apologize in advance if they suck. <laughs> let's see what... Uh, Chris, you're not trying this? Mm, good. Really? Yeah. Mm, good. <laughs> it didn't suck. Yay! I guess, I don't know. I guess it kind of tastes like chicken. A little bit of an aftertaste. Maybe if I had used straight up breadcrumbs, it would have been better. Yeah, maybe. But we're going to have that with um, light and fluffy noodles, some vegetarian gravy, and I guess some vegetables. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Um, Honey, you're going to dump that. <laughs> Till next time, much love.